Hi, good morning, subramani.com welcomes you. Uh, the usual, please press the bell icon. If you like the video, please share it with your friends. Uh, so, continuing our series for doctors, doctors and investing is a topic on which I could speak for hours, but here I have to make it into smaller capsules. So, let me start by saying something very simple. Do not invest in products that you do not understand. Let me repeat, do not invest in products that you do not understand. I've got a very tragic story to tell you on this. But let me start by saying simple things. So invest in an index fund. It is easy to understand. What does an index fund do? Index fund invests in the top 30 companies of the country or top 50 companies of the country. That's the only single mutual fund you require. Or you look for a mutual fund which has got large cap, mid cap and small cap. These are called multi cap funds. That's it. Make one choice and stick to it. If you don't even want to do that, stick to an index fund. One index fund, 50 rupees a day or 100 rupees a day or 200 rupees a day, whatever is your budget, but keep increasing it by 10% every year. So this year if it is 5000, next year it should be 5500. That basic you do. That takes care of your investing. Take a term insurance. This is again very simple. I've done many videos on this and uh, please visit my blog which is subramani.com and I talk about term insurance. Take term insurance, so an index fund, term insurance, one or two credit cards, one savings bank account. Beyond this, you do not need much. Now comes to the bad quality advice that doctors get. One doctor was told by his relationship manager that he could buy a SUV and give it on rent for the weekends. Sounds like a good idea because you will get the depreciation. Say you buy a vehicle for 15 lakhs of rupees, you get 30% depreciation. So 5 lakhs is reduced from your income. So that sounds very great because all you have to tell a doctor for investing in say, sir, is my tax bachega. Right? That makes it look like a great investment. That clouds you. You then don't look at the risk. So let me tell you what happened to one doctor who bought a vehicle and gave it to a person he knew it's not that he knew him very well, but he knew the family. And uh, he said, uh, you take this vehicle and for the weekends, this guy was based in Bombay. So the weekends you go to Nasik, you go to Shirdi, you want to go to Mahabaleshwar. This driver will take you. Young driver, maybe about 20. And that was a good driver. He drove well. So six months, everything was fine. Maybe eight months, everything was fine. Then one fine day, he went and killed somebody. Now, accidents can happen. The immediate thing to do is go to the nearest police station and lodge a complaint or do something like that. This boy abandoned the vehicle and just ran away. So, after a couple of days, the police came home. And then this doctor spent a lot of time with the police station, with the lawyers, trying to come out of the situation. Cost of the car, maybe 8 lakhs. Money and time spent on retrieving the situation, not less than 5 lakhs, right? You don't want to do such investments. There are more tragic cases which I have heard of, which uh, one which I know very closely is when a doctor invested in real estate business and completely got into a mess. I don't have time in a video to do the full story, but I've written about this in my book. It's a sad story based in Mumbai. So be careful about those kind of investments. Do not invest in something which you don't understand. So if you don't understand mutual funds, that's great. Still invest in an index fund. You do not understand insurance, that's great. Still take a term insurance. When I say term insurance, I mean pure term insurance. No riders, nothing. Just term insurance. You need to take medical insurance. Medical insurance, please take through an agent. Term insurance, please take it online because medical insurance is far more difficult to understand. So take medical insurance, the regular one with top up and super top up. That's how you have to take it. Look for an agent. I've done a couple of uh, videos on saying how to look for, in a, what to look for in an agent and why to look for in a, an agent. So please do that. Do your investments in products which you understand. Relax. Maybe at 50, when you have a lot of money flowing in, you can sit and understand how a venture capital works, how a private equity works and you know all those. Right now, if you're young, young what I mean is you just started your practice, you're within the first 10 years of your practice, you're still investing in your own uh, practice, which means you're buying equipment, you're doing up the 
place, right? Personal investments, you need to buy a car, you need to buy a own house, right? When all those things are happening, you may not have too much money for investing in other products. Fine, still learn. There are no shortcuts. Every investment carries risk. Not investing carries risk. So simple businesses like buying a car, giving on rent looks very simple. It's not true. Buying a house, giving on rent is not uh, risk free. So if you want to invest more, invest in your own business. Get a bigger office. Share it. Uh, get juniors to work with you. Investing in a junior is worthwhile because what he earns, he may keep 30% and give you 70% because he can't afford to locate himself in this location where you're there for 5 years or 7 years or 10 years, right? Invest in those things. Do not invest in things which you don't understand. First, do a lot of investing in your own business. Once you have more money coming in, you can decide to buy uh, other things and in your priority, it should be your clinic and dispensary first and house can, can happen after 10 to 15 years. There's absolutely no hurry. Enough houses are available on rent, right? So maybe first you take a 1 BHK and afterwards you go to a 2 BHK, then you go to a 3 BHK and you think, I need a 3 BHK to live and this is what I can afford. At that stage, you can decide to buy. No hurry to buy. Buy when your kids are grown up and you know, things like that. Absolutely no hurry to buy a house. But yes, hurry to buy your place of work, buy equipment, all that. Thank you.